Now, we have received approval on our wireframe designs from our client or our boss or our coworkers. We've all come to agreement on what we want for the three layouts that you and I have been at work putting together here. So we're ready to move on to the next step in the design phase, and that is, of course, part of the design process where we actually apply colors and fonts and all that great stuff to our three layouts. Now, before we really, really jump into all this, there's one nagging issue that I've got to take care of, and I briefly mentioned this early on, or earlier on, I should say, and that is we have some extra space over on the left-hand side of our navigation menus. We can see it there inside the high-resolution layout, but it becomes more and more obvious when we start working with some of the lower resolution media queries. There's the medium resolution. You can see that even more prominently. You can see that the main navigation menu is centered. The text appears centered, but it's shifted over towards the right. We have this large gap of empty space there on the left-hand side and just a narrow gap of space over on the right-hand side. And this gets even more obvious when we get down to the low resolution media query. So I want to go and fix this before we move on. Now, it's actually a little bit involved figuring out exactly where this spacing is coming from, but we can fix it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back over to my external style sheet. And by the way, on a completely unrelated subject and <laughs> completely, not to completely take us off track, but one thing that I did do before I jumped into this lesson is I closed up all of that extra space that we had, all that extra elbow room that we had created inside the external style sheet. I got rid of all that extra space. So if you haven't done that, you may want to kind of get rid of all that extra white space. But more importantly, what we want to do is we want to go and fix that gap of space on the left-hand side of our layout. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this up for my low-resolution media query. So what I'm going to do is maybe just to keep this simple, I'll go and throw this onto the bottom of my list of low-resolution media query rules, so just underneath footer. And here's what I'm going to type in. I'm going to type in nav ul. So it's actually coming off of the unordered list that you and I used to create our main navigation menu. Now, I could go just straight up ul if I wanted to, but that would change or that would control all of my unordered lists. And maybe later on, I might wind up having an, a bulleted list somewhere inside my layout. So I want to use a compound rule to specify that I only want to control unordered lists if they appear inside a nav element. So this is what I've done here. And here's what I'm going to type in. This is going to be kind of weird. This is actually related to something called WebKit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a dash or a hyphen or a minus sign, and I'm going to go WebKit, just like this, dash padding, dash start. And you can see code is trying to help me along there a little bit. And I'm going to go full colon space, and I'm simply going to say zero or nothing, followed directly by a semicolon. That's it. That's all I want to do. I'm going to save up my external style sheet. I'll head back to my browser. Let me just hide everything here for clarity. And I'll refresh, and there we go. Now we've gotten rid of that massive gap of space there over on the left-hand side. So it's coming off of this thing called WebKit, which is sort of related to the browser that I'm using. But again, unfortunately, this is one of these subjects we don't have enough time to really dig into. But in any regard, it looks like it's really given us a nice result, fixed the problem for us here inside our layout. But here's the catch. This looks great for the low resolution media query, but as soon as I break into my medium resolution media query, the problem creeps back. And you know, if I scale all the way out to the high resolution, the problem is still there as well, although it is slightly less noticeable. So what's up with this? Well, here's the deal. If I head back to my code, this new rule that you and I created, we created him inside the low resolution media query. So he's only applying to the low resolution media query. So what I could do is I could take this new rule and I could copy them and paste them into my other media queries. That's one option. The problem that I have with that option is now I have three copies of the same rule where one would be just fine. So here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna take this guy. This actually gives me an opportunity to show you something kind of cool. I'm gonna take this new rule that you and I created and I'm gonna cut them, Control or Command X. I'm going to pull them basically out of this low resolution media query. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click at the very top of my list of CSS rules, all the way up to the very, very top of my document. I'll hit enter a couple of times and then I'll paste them. So he actually appears outside of the three media queries, which means he would apply to all three devices. Regardless as to what the resolution is, this rule is gonna to apply to them. So this guy is outside of the boundaries, if you will, of the media queries that you and I have established. I head back to my browser, I refresh, and there we see the space is compensated. It's looking a lot better here inside the high resolution. There's the medium resolution. The problem is resolved there as well. And then of course the low resolution. The new rule that we created is applied to this guy as well. So there you go, we've resolved the elusive menu spacing issue. Again, it's an issue related to this thing called WebKit. Now, more importantly, let's start applying some formatting to our wireframe structures that we've built. We're gonna start off by applying some formatting to our high resolution layout.